got a little project to do on the drifter, just got a little bling dad, so a little blacked out bling. Come back in a minute. All right, that was pretty easy. The gent in the uh, UK that uh, laser cuts these out and uh, either paints or powder coats or polishes stainless steel. Yeah, I wanted a black one. This, my frame is primarily black. I like it. All right, back to work on the 250. All right, guys, Thursday, June the 3rd. Tush coming at you. Welcome back to the garage. And just having a look at the 1968 Triumph TR250 project this morning. Welcome to the channel if you've uh, just tuned in. Anyway, it's a good uh, good look at the car after it's been under the cover for a while. I um, went around in grease and wax, removed all of the panels because they had a pretty thick layer of dust on them. So it's good to see the car out from under the cover and dusted off. I also uh, got the air gun out and uh, blew out the passenger compartment in the trunk so all of the dust and debris is out of there as well. So that's uh, looking much better, much cleaner. So makes me happy. Here's where we left off uh, the last video. We had uh, just done a little bit of uh, body filler work on the inner wheel arches. So we'll uh, start there and finish that little uh, area today. And then I think what we'll do is we'll move to the rear of the car and we'll start uh, working again on the rear valence where we have our first coat of filler down the bottom here and we'll put another coat of filler down here. And then we're going to start working our way up onto the uh, sides of the tail light pockets. So on the, both the right and uh, left hand side there needs to be some work done there. And then we'll continue up along up to the saddle piece along these legs up to the saddle. And I did actually buy a tool today to help me. I don't know if you remember, I've had a conversation about the contour here in this sort of edge of the panels, both left and right hand sides. It's had so much work that I actually don't even know what the contour is supposed to be. So I wanted to make sure that at least I could get the contour on the left and right hand sides to match. So I've got this contour gauge and I'm hoping that, hoping that will help me solve that issue. So anyway, enough chatting. We'll uh, break up the sanding uh, paper and uh, we'll go to town, finish this area first, and then move to the back of the car. I'll give you some uh, updates along the way. All right, guys, not a lot to update, but I thought I'd uh, do it anyway. So we've got uh, a couple of coats of filler on the rear uh, valence now, and we've just guide coated it. We're going to uh, start getting a little finer with our detail now. I did start on this area over here, and uh, I'm having fun sanding that little area. I did finish the, or uh, pretty much finish the, uh, inner wheel well areas or about as far as I'm going to go anyway. So that looks better. Still a few little low areas but you're not going to see those when the panel is uh, covering that so uh, I think we're going to call that done not waste too much time on it. So got my little uh, thin long block here and we're going to start on that uh, rear valence. Saturday the 6th of June, an absolutely beautiful day outside today, and we're back on the TR250 project, we're just about to remove the uh, driver's side rear fender, and we're going to continue to do some work on this uh, rear section here, got some tape lines uh, on both sides, I'm just trying to match both sides as I mentioned before, and we've got the profile gauge over there as well that we've been utilizing, so uh, we're going to put that to good use. So fender off for the 636th time, I think it is, and uh, we'll continue doing some body work in these areas here. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, it's now Sunday back in the garage, still working on this uh, rear section, and it's definitely looking better. I've got it into uh, much better shape. I've just coated it with a quick coat of uh, gray primer just to see where I'm going right or wrong, and so far it's looking not too bad. There's still some areas that I need to fix, and I see quite a few sanding scratches and uh, areas uh, that need to be sanded more, but uh, it's looking much better than it did, let's say that. So we're going in the, uh, the right direction to be sure. So I need to do some more sanding down in this area, but that's looking pretty good as far as the line is concerned all the way up and where it starts to transition. So uh, yeah, I'm just been uh, trying to study a bunch of uh, pictures online to see where this transition actually stops 
and it's somewhere about here I think and then it sort of flattens out up in that area so that's what I've been trying to uh, mimic on this side and like I said I think that looks uh, pretty good so uh, we're going to continue on doing a little bit more work on this side then we'll move on recreating this side the reason why this panel is such in, in such bad shape if you recall if you go back to some of my earlier videos there was a huge patch brazed in here on both sides really poorly you can just see the the leading edge of this patch and basically this patch ran the whole length here and it was quite a substantial strip that they put in so we're trying to hide that we're trying to get the shape back because it was just a flat patch that they put in and it wasn't curved according to the body line so we're trying to correct that as we move along and uh, like I said it's taking some time to get that done um, but I think we're finally trying to we're getting a bit of a sense of, a sense of accomplishment on it anyway so that's looking better we'll start uh, transitioning to the right hand side we've got our gauge now profile gauge contour gauge whatever you want to call it to be able to mimic what we have on this side and move it across this side you can also take measurements I've basically what I've been doing is using uh, utilizing sort of a tape line system to sort of tape out where things sort of you know lines you know moving up this way and I've just put a piece of tape up there where this sort of transition stops I put a piece of tape here and it's sort of been lying lying in body fill according to the tape lines and that seems to be uh, to seem to be working anyway all right guys just uh, wanted to give you a quick update we'll continue on with our uh, sending well, Tuesday June 9th 2020 it was a hot one in the garage today almost 90 in the shade beautiful day but hot anyway got a little uh, something different to do this afternoon tonight I've got a uh, zoom meeting scheduled with my uh, local Toronto Triumph Club and they've invited me to be a guest speaker, guest presenter on uh, my TR250 project. And they want me to talk about uh, how I go about doing uh, body work. So we've got a uh, bit of a show and tell here display on the table. I'm going to uh, run through it quickly with them on uh, what I do. Not necessarily the way that everybody does it, but at least it's the way I do it. And the product, some of the products that I use, I recommend. So we got those all on display to talk about. It's quite a cornucopia of stuff when you lay it on a table. And trust me, this is not even probably half of it. Cupboards are still full. Still got equipment over there. Still got stuff in bins. Got my list here, uh, my talking points. That we're going to go through on the zoom meeting just to keep myself on track and on time so yeah looking forward to uh hosting the meeting at uh, 7 p.m tonight it's possible they might record the session and uh if they do maybe i'll ask if i see if i can put it up on my channel we'll see how it goes first zoom meeting for the uh, toronto triumph club so trying to adapt to uh, the new world with this uh, pandemic and obviously can't meet in person so they're going about it in a different uh, fashion so hopefully it works well for them alright guys Thursday the 11th of June a little cooler in the garage today just uh, a little over 70 last couple days have been about 95 out here with some pretty high humidity so we had a pretty good storm roll through last night got rid of all that uh, heat and humidity so uh, a little more comfortable to work in the garage Back on the uh, TR250 project after uh, spending yesterday cleaning up the garage for my uh, show and tell from Tuesday. Had everything put away uh, back in the cupboards, so that's all good. So let's uh, get back to working on the car. I'm working back in this area here to get this looking a little bit better. And there's a little bit of uh, stuff I need to do over in this area. Need to add a little bit of more filler up in here. So just some real sort of touch ups in these areas. But it's getting closer. I know I keep saying that in this area. I've probably spent 30 to 40 hours in this area alone on the car. But it's uh, definitely getting there. I also want to do some finish uh, sanding. I need to add a little bit more filler actually underneath the lip of the rear valence. So I'm going to smooth that out a little bit. But that's looking pretty good as well. So yeah, we're getting there on the rear end of this car. But uh, it is taking a while. So let's get to work. All right, guys, might not look like much, but it's a big milestone for me. I've been struggling with the rear of this car for a long time now, and I've finally got it to a point where I think it actually looks pretty good and I can move on. So 
I think what I'll do is I'll stop here and uh, I'll move up to the other area that needs uh, some attention and that is the front valence so uh, just cleared some space up the front here and we'll start uh, roughing this area up under the uh, under the front valence got some repair work that has been done over here so we need some filler there a few dents here and there so it's going to take a little filler work so the first thing we'll do is we'll rough up this uh, epoxy primer coat and we'll get ready to put some uh, filler up here and then we're getting pretty close to uh, moving on to the next step which will be a uh, overcoat uh, with black epoxy over all my body work and then we'll finally get to our hide build primer stage so not too too far away still need to do a little bit more work on the sill so I think once I fix the uh, the front valence I'll strip the exterior panels off we'll take the doors off fenders off and the hood back off have a quick look at the engine bay and see what needs to be finished up in there and then uh, like I said we're getting pretty close to uh, moving on and getting this closer to being to uh, the uh, paint stage which is good so let me get that front valence looked after and we'll come back in a bit. Alright guys I thought I'd just pause with my uh, sanding for a bit we've got a quick uh, coat of filler on the front here and uh, we're at the stage I think where we're going to dismantle the panels off the body tub so I uh, thought I'd take a quick shot of this car with the body panels on because you're probably going to not see the panels on this car for some time after I take them off today. Uh, I'm going to store them over there against the wall maybe cover them up because obviously we're going to spend most of our time I think on the body tub in the next little while so uh, yeah have a quick look I know you've seen it a million times over the last few hundred days but this will be the last time you see it for who knows how long in this sort of semi assembled state all right drink it all in taking them off now all right guys sometimes you got to move backwards in order to move forwards and that's the case with this car now I've got everything pretty much stripped off this car that I can get stripped off with the exception of the uh, frame pockets uh, I need a hand with those because I got to basically have a wrench on them underneath the car and somebody's got to be on top of the car so I'm gonna have to probably enlist the help of Les maybe when he comes over to give me a hand with those they're not critical at the moment anyway I do want to get them out before I paint the body tub though so I obviously want to get color in behind there before I put them back in and seal them so it's getting pretty tight out in the garage with all the panels back off the car they take up a tremendous amount of space as you can imagine so I'm gonna have to come up with a plan I think to uh, put those somewhere I thought about putting in my putting them in my living room and dining room but uh, I may need to use that at some point and I don't know how long this process is gonna be so I may actually uh, bring my trailer home my covered trailer which I've utilized in the past to store stuff in the only problem with that is Les has got his TR6 body, his uh, 76 TR6 body uh, sitting in my trailer so I've got to find a spot for that in order to be able to utilize my trailer. Uh, I actually need the trailer this weekend as well. Got a little bit of a road trip uh, to go on on Sunday but we'll uh, talk more about that uh, at a later time. So yeah, pretty tight in the garage and obviously if I'm going to start to uh, be painting out here, primering and painting uh, pretty much full time for the next little while. I want to have a good space, a good clean space to uh, work in and not have to worry about uh, getting overspray on everything that's in the garage. So I think the trailer might be the best uh, solution is just uh, figuring out, like I said, what to do with it, what to do with what's in the trailer at the moment. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Uh, we'll get back out here uh, probably tomorrow and uh, we'll continue on. We'll do some more sanding and uh, I still haven't finished the front uh, valence. We do have that uh, first coat of filler, actually second coat of filler on here. We're just about to uh, go after, but uh, I think we're going to call it a day out here for now. And uh, we'll think about uh, what we want to do as far as future planning on this car and uh, how we're going to go about doing it. And I'll fill you in uh, when I figure it out. All right, guys, talk to you later. Thanks for watching.